Hello and welcome to this Niv play where I'm going to be taking you through the Blood Furnace which is the second instance in Hellfire Peninsula and the second instance in Outland overall really with the first being Hellfire Ramparts. This is a very straightforward and linear instance with not many places you can go wrong although there are a couple of uh, tight spots where if the tank pulls badly everyone will die and yep that does happen to me quite often. Being a healer though, I'm usually alright because I'm stood at the back of the group and I can just run! Yeah, those groups of uh, caster mobs there with the imp minions, they're really annoying because you have to kill them and you one-shot them and it's just a massive waste of time and it's really annoying! Coming up for the first boss now, he's the one straight ahead patrolling round and make sure in this room that you are prepared because people may, as you see, die if you pull badly. Granted this tank isn't the best but I probably could have been able to keep him up. But then he goes and decides to pull the boss while I'm rezzing which is never a good idea if you've got a healer who's trying to solve someone's problems and you go and pull like this guy does again while I'm looting the mobs, then things are gonna hit the fan. Yup, it's a long run back now, and um, I'm not sure whose fault that was. Was it his fault for being an idiot and pulling while I was doing the quest? Or was it mine for not really looking at his health meter? I don't know, debate that one out. Uh, yeah, in this corridor, and for the rest of the instance I think really, be careful for stealthed mobs, you might just like accidentally run into them and then get your face beaten off with a dagger. Gotta love rogues, but not when they're enemies. Have no clue what that guy just said. Be very careful here, um, I think for every single pull that this guy made while in this room, the ads went for me. Brilliant. See, oh look, my screen goes red, and yeah, luckily he takes aggro before they hit me, but that would be very painful. As you can see, there's this little lever here, you pull that and then the ads sort of come out of the rooms at the side. Be aware. Then once you kill these, this massive head with tentacles boss comes around. Very easy to kill, but be careful because under his corpse when he dies, he leaves some like a poison cloud or something. You stand in that and you're going to take some serious DOT, which isn't going to be nice. Okay, real ID, I do not need to know that he's logging in and out and in and out. I mean, yeah, granted he may be starting a new character and gearing up heirlooms or whatever the hell he's doing. I don't need to know. This final boss, really quite simple. Kill the ads first, then kill the boss. Goes down, no trouble at all. Hope that this has been of help guys and as always remember to like, favourite, comment and subscribe for more.